What's up guys, today we're going to be going through what are the most important muscles to train as a guy. So, being a guy myself, I've been training now for about three years and I feel like I've got a lot of knowledge now on what to focus on, what not to focus on as a guy uh, and as a girl as well. Um, you know, uh, what girls need to focus on, what guys usually focus on. And in this video, you're not going to see kind of the basic stuff like oh, chest and shoulders and that kind of shit. I'm just going to be going over some more obscure muscles that a lot of guys and a lot of people I know don't train and that you probably don't train uh, or maybe you do. But either way, hopefully this is going to give you some value and maybe if you uh, more kind of ideas on how to train. Okay, so the goal for myself and probably for you is to get a V tapered look. Okay, so this is the kind of masculine kind of, you know, big on the top, small waist, and then back out again for the quads. Um, so that's where we talk about the fat is usually stored around the lower back and the lower kind of belly and the hips. So that's where we want to basically target muscles there so that when we actually lose the fat, we can see the actual muscles there that are going to appear. And I'll talk about that muscle in a second. And then we also want to leverage where we don't have fat, which is shoulders and the upper body, on the arms, on the legs. These are places that we don't actually store a lot of fat at all. So we can kind of take advantage of that and train those muscles more and kind of get a more um, shredded look on the top. Um, whereas the bottom, uh, you sort of diet for the bottom and actually train for the top, if that makes sense. Okay, so this is the, the most important muscle to train by far, guys, is the mid delt, okay? The lateral head of the delts. This is this portion of the, of the arm here. As you can see, the mid delts are incredibly important. And uh, that's what's gonna give you kind of the width Okay, so the actual broadness of the shoulders, and that's kind of like the most like masculine, like in my opinion, is like guys who have these broad shoulders, big, you know, they call like Death Star delts. Uh, this is the most important uh, muscles to train by far for guys, okay? So every time you go to the gym, do your push session, make sure you're doing side lateral raises. I put a little image of it here, and I've got a little video of me doing it uh, from a few months ago next as well. Um, but this is essentially, just get the dumbbells, and you want to just lead with your elbow and think about bringing your elbow up. Your wrist can stay forwards with the dumbbell, but the, the, the elbow leads the movement. So you're not moving with the wrist up like that. It's like the elbow is leading the movement. Just think about bringing your elbow up. Don't squeeze the dumbbell too hard and just do that, okay? Don't need to use heavy weight for this. Light weight is uh, better. Get the reps in, get the blood in. You can mix up obviously week for week. Some weeks you can do heavier weight and do like 10 reps. So you can do really lightweight and go for like 30, 40 reps. Doesn't really matter. Just spam them, okay? The thing is with like side lat rolls, they recover pretty quick. You know, it's rare that you feel sore in the side lat roll. So you can actually spam these. And so I do them on the push days, and I also do them in the end of training legs as well. I'll do uh, just a quick set of side lat rolls because I feel like it's so important. Um, just getting the volume in there is going to be better. So, um, so yeah, don't concern yourself too much with um, shoulder presses and things like that and front raises for your front delt. Your front delt will get plenty of training uh, on bench. Um, so focus on when you're doing shoulders, focus on the mid delt, okay? It's the most important muscle by far. Okay, so I've got a little video of me here actually training uh, mid delt. So you can see there, um, leading with the elbow forward, the kind of the wrist dip down slightly at the front. It's not a great angle, so you can't really see it, but I'm going slow and steady. I'm just going upwards and I'm going slower downwards. I'm actually doing heavy reps here. So this is uh, quite. Not the greatest set. And then you can see there, I actually bend my elbows in when it starts to get too hard. And this is the weight, the further, the closer the weight is into the body, the easier it's going to be to sort of lift it up and just slice it and squeeze a few more reps out. So when you start to fail, just curl the weight in. And then also you can do what I've done here where I actually just drop the weight, drop the weight down. So I was using 10s there before I believe, and I dropped them down to six or something like that, seven, and just carry it on, yeah. Keep the burn going in the shoulders, keep the tension there. And uh, yeah, you'll uh, blow up your delts in no time. So the next most important muscle to train is your obliques. So this is going to get that V taper kind of look just right above the crotch. Where that The picture on the right kind of demonstrates it really well. Uh, and obviously I talked about body fat percentage and the way that guys store body fat. You are not going to be able to see these obliques uh, with a high body fat percentage. However, I'd still train them because then once you actually bring your body fat down, as kind of most guys are trying to do, you'll find that these are going to be much more prominent. And if you can see even just a little bit, like obviously that image on the right is like way exaggerated, you know, in terms of the goal. If you even just see a little bit of the V taper, it's going to like accentuate that kind of shape of the body and the abs as well and make it look like way more aesthetic. 
it's just like a really important muscle to train you're gonna target them slightly on compound movements and stuff like that but this is like the only exercise out there where you can actually like feel like a burn in your obliques and then maybe you could do um hanging leg raises but a variation where you sort of twist yourself upwards it's a similar thing uh, i just do russian twists uh, and obviously hold the weight don't do it body weight because it's I don't know. It's not really going to do anything. I think you do need to do resistance training for your abs. I think body weight is a bit shit. Um, so yeah, I've done both, and I think I get them. I'm much more sore the next day, put it that way, if I use weight, and it takes way less time. Okay, on the triceps. So a lot of guys want bigger arms. Okay, I'm going to keep this one super simple and super straightforward because um, I'm going to try and keep this video short. But if you want bigger arms, obviously guys need to have big arms. That's like one of the most important things that all guys want is big arms. It's to fill out this t-shirt sleeves. Um, triceps is the one to go for, okay? It makes two thirds of your arms. It's the most important muscle in your arm. Don't worry about the bicep. Stop worrying about the forearms. That'll all come along with training biceps and doing hammer curls and stuff like that. Forearms are super important. I'd say um, that triceps are by far the most important for your arms. And the best exercise I've found from my experience for actually growing your triceps and getting them really sore the next morning is just skull crushers, okay? Just getting a bar and having your elbows back and putting it behind the bench and pushing forward like that but you know not pushing forward so your arms end up here so they end up here because if they're if they're still above i can't really demonstrate where i'm sat down but essentially that graphic on the on the top right kind of illustrates it quite badly if if you imagine you were him you'd want your arms bent backwards slightly and finishing off in that position it keeps constant tension on the triceps that way um, but again, uh, I think I've done a push session video on the channel actually where I think I did I think I did skull crushers and I think I might have shown them. I can't remember. But yeah, triceps, super important, okay? And then the last muscle I want to talk about that barely anyone trains, none of my friends train this, uh, is uh, your traps, okay? Sounds super simple, but it's so easy to forget about training this on a pull session. Um, and traps are really important because again to get that v taper look to get that kind of width and girth at the top you've done your shoulders now you just need to focus on the neck you know if you have that really skinny kind of neck and you don't have any kind of you know trap development here then it's going to kind of make you look like kind of skinny overall traps are like really good at developing that mass on the back and just making you look like bigger overall like a bigger guy okay it's it's all probably because of the traps it's like an illusion almost so um, and I'm I'm no by no means the best at training traps. Okay, so I often forget to train traps. Uh, but so that's why I've started doing it at the start of my workouts now. So if I go to do a pull session, I'll do traps at the start. Um, it doesn't. I don't do it to like exhaust my. I don't do it to the point where I get exhausted, so I can't actually do the rest of my workout like biceps and back and overall like bent over rows and stuff. Uh, I do it at the start of the session and just get the blood in there and kind of get it over and done with. And you do find that you actually use the traps on like a lot of compound movements, like deadlifts and stuff like that. But I really focus on um, isolating the traps, which is, is simple. Just hold two dumbbells. Um, it doesn't have to be super heavy and just shrug up and then hold it for two seconds at the top and go down really slowly and then back up again. And then when you set really these, you find that your traps will get tired very quickly. Okay, you will struggle to do this for long. Um, then you can just start repping out and going fast, okay? And just get the blood in there. Do that for three sets, and that's all you need to do for traps, okay? Honestly, like, that is all you need. They'll be sore for two days after doing that, seriously. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's about it, guys. That's the main muscles that I'd focus on. So, just to recap, side lateral um, raises, probably the most important exercise in your arsenal, to be honest, for guys, is that's the most important muscles to train, I'd say. Um, and then you've got triceps for the width and the girth in your arms. You've got your traps, which I've just talked to you about. And you've got your obliques, which is going to be, you're going to need that to get that kind of V taper at the bottom um, once you lose the fat. That's going to be like a more long-term one because obviously fat is probably a bit harder to lose um, than actually like building size and muscle and getting the pump and stuff like that, just photos. Um, actually peeling away that fat around the bottom half is going to be, you know, most, most important to actually get the narrow look at the bottom. But you can accentuate it by just training the obliques and getting them kind of developed so that when the fat does come off, you can see them. Anyway, guys, that was that was the video. So I hope you find it helpful. And if you did, please consider subscribing. Comment down below if you did find any of these uh, tips helpful. And uh, yeah, have a good day. I'll see you in a bit.